Spurgeon here with Revzilla TV to talk to you about the climb to car in the boot pants available at Revzilla.com. So new for 2015, the climb to car in the boot pants are going to get updated from the previous version. And really the biggest update that we're going to see is they've gone to a 420D Cordura in the non-impact zones while maintaining that 840D in the impact zones. This is really going to increase the comfort of the pants. Now, for the second week in a row, I get to work with High Viz Brian on my left-hand side. I haven't gotten to work with his face yet, but we're getting to spend a lot of time with his legs over here. Now, HVB is going to be 34 in his jean size. We measured him around the belly button, 37 inches. We're going to have him in these Klein pants in a size 34, and they're going to fit him spot on. So keep that in mind in relationship to the size chart. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, available in 30 up to 40 in all the colors, and there is a black version which goes up to 42. As far as colors are concerned, we are going to have them in black, in olive, and again, these nice fluorescent orange colors. We didn't have a fluorescent yellow for Hivis Brian, but this is the closest we get still visible in the orange. Now, Climb is really known for their role in the dirt world, in the ADV world, the snow world, and the Dakar in the boot pants are gonna be a dirt pant. It's gonna get you into the cooler temperatures. There's gonna be a lot of technology based into this. And really the big thing you're getting with Climb Motocross and dirt pants is they're simply more durable than some of the other pants that are out there in the market. You're gonna get at least a full season, if not more, out of these particular pants. Now, if you want something that's gonna breathe more air, check out the Mojave. There's gonna be a lot more mesh incorporated into that. And if you wanna take a step up into something more ADV related, check out the Traverse. You're gonna get four Gore-Tex lining with the Traverse. And again, a little bit more of that ADV style to it. But for those of you that are looking for the dirt world, you are a motocross rider, you want something durable for your dual sport or your woods rides, the car in the boots are gonna be great, especially for getting you out of the summer and into the fall cooler months of riding. Like I said in the beginning, the biggest change that we're gonna see for 2015 is gonna be the materials being used in these particular pants. Where the previous version rocked 840D Cordura throughout, a little bit stiff, a little bit uncomfortable, they're gonna take these pants, they're gonna incorporate 420 in the body while still maintaining that 840 in the impact zones where you need it the most. Other changes, starting at the top, working our way through here. You're gonna see a snap closure which has been changed only because they covered it up. There's a lot of riders out there that are rocking some nicer ADV bikes where they don't want their tank scratched up. And by simply covering up those buttons, you just give your tank a little bit more protection. Working your way down the vents on the side, massive thigh vents to keep Brian nice and cool when he's out there riding around, but they've gotten rid of the cover, giving you better airflow into the pants themselves. And again, you're gonna see that on both sides. Working your way down in the crotch, you're gonna have this elasticated textile accordion stretch. And this is gonna be super flexible. We're gonna see a ton of it on the back and they've just incorporated this a little bit more and they've gotten rid of some of the accordion stretch that we saw in the Cordura zones from the previous version. Now you're still gonna have the accordion stretch above the knees in the Cordera and you're gonna notice there's no knee armor in this. These are designed to be worn on top of standalone knee armor. If you want to use these as a standalone pant, there are pockets on the inside for both the hip as well as the knee. You can add D3 of armor and you can use them as a, stand as a standalone pant if you so choose. Now, as you get down from the knee, you're gonna see leather inlays on the inside just to add improved protection, but really improved grip. And then again, these are in the boot pants. There's gonna be an elastication ring at the bottom and they're gonna work really nicely just to fit tight against your ankles. A Little bit shorter than the previous version so they don't bunch up as much. Again, really nice updates from Climb. Brian, I'm gonna have you turn and face away for me. Now working down from the top, you're gonna have this same Velcro adjuster at the waist so you can fine tune this as Brian drinks more beer. Maybe he works out a little bit. You can kind of fine tune exactly where you want this to fit. Working your way down, thigh pockets on the side, relatively unchanged in this. And you're gonna see some of that textile accordion stretch working its way down the side and into the bottom of the boot. Again, really nice profile, really nice articulated fit, a little bit svelter than the previous version, but because they've added so much of that stretch material in here, it's really not gonna impede on the comfort whatsoever. Brian, I'm have you turn and face backwards for me. Now, again, starting at the waist, working your way through, you're gonna see that textile accordion stretch really kind of coming into play working at the top, working its way down the thighs, and again, underneath the seat, 
it's going to help to keep that 840D Cordura comfortable, but while still maintaining that protection in the seat of your pants. Now, Climb is known for having that bubble butt effect with a lot of their more high-end adventure gear, and you don't see it as pronounced here. Really nice kind of a svelte look, whether you're on or off the motorcycle. Working your way down, there is going to be a little bit of mesh on the very back of the thigh, so if you are running those front vents open, it just helps to push the airflow through, and with those front vents closed, you really have nothing to worry about. Now, as you wrap this out down into the pants, again, you can see that accordion stretch working its way down, fits really nicely into your boots, not a lot of bunching, and again, maximum comfort for the main updates for 2015, 16 rocking years. Brian, I'm gonna be turning face forward for me. And again, what we have here is a really nice dirt pant. It's gonna last for multiple seasons. Brian can go out, he can tear it up on his bikes, and he doesn't have to worry about wearing these things out. Again, moving into the cooler months. Now there's a ton of riders out there rocking climb gear. If you wanna hear more about what they have to say, click the info button. Read what other riders are rocking as far as climb is concerned on their dirt rides. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate. Give us a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at ribzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the climb to car in the boot pants. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride. You wanna dig down and say hi to the audience?